Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Vix and I'm going to tell you this true story, so please watch it and uh, just sit back and enjoy, but this is going to be the most annoying gun game ever recorded. I mean, this was so annoying, I got knifed like 46 times in this game, but I should have won, but I came second. Well, anyway guys, I was in high school a couple of years ago and um, I had this friend called Pat. It wasn't really called Pat, no, I had this cousin called Pat. And uh, Pat's brother, who was older than me by two years, asked me to look out for Pat. And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? And Pat's brother also asked my other cousin, who actually, who actually went to this school, to look out for Pat. So he said, two guys look out for Pat. Now, my cousin, who is, like, really caring about his reputation and stuff, really was like, okay, I'll do what I can, but if anything bad happens, I'm not going to get involved. So basically, he was a bitch about it. Now... When Pat got, uh, well, Pat came to school in the first few weeks, and it was his freshman year, of course, I was in my second year of high school. Now, Pat came to high school, and he was just, you know, the normal kid, the, the big kid, uh, and he, well, the first few weeks were okay, and um, then in music class, he ran into a bully. The bully's name was Colin, I think it was Colin anyway, I think that was his real name. And Pat was uh, getting bullied by Colin, not severe bullying, what only happened was, Pat got kicked in the back of his chair whilst Colin sat behind him and that's all there was to it, which was pretty pathetic to be honest. So Colin kept bullying Pat and, uh, well, one thing to lead to another and uh, a fight was organised. Well, not really a fight. Colin came up to Pat and um, since I was asked to look after Pat, I was hanging around with Pat in break times and lunch time, so we used to hang around this chimney. It was me, Pat and Wakas. Wakas was uh, my close friend at the time, still is my close friend, uh, my best friend actually, and he was up there at the time and Pat was like, so I've got this problem with Colin and he keeps kicking me in the back of the chair in music class, he's a, he's becoming a bully and I don't know what to do. And we were like, okay, if you end up doing anything um, bad or if you get into like a big fight, we'll help you out. If it's one-on-one, -on -one, we won't get involved, of course, because one-on-one -on -one is fair. Uh, but if it's like two-on-one or twenty-on-one, -on -one, which we'll get to in this story, we will get involved. <laughs> now, Pat and Colin met up at break time. This was a 15-minute break that we had at the time. And... Um, Colin came up to Pat and he was like, all right, do you want to fight me? Because I've been hearing some pretty bad rumors you've been spreading, which I had no idea of, of course. And Pat was like, okay, yeah, you want to fight? Let's do it. And, uh, well, they basically, well, no, 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 no. Wait, I forgot one key part in this element of fight. There was a brick wall present at the time near the chimney. And uh, me and Wackus were there, of course. And uh, Pat was like, okay, you guys go into that corner and I'll handle this. And we were like, are you sure? It's like, yeah, yeah, I'll handle it. Don't worry about it. So I was like, okay. So we headed off to like a corner, but we could still overhear him, of course, in the conversation. So he's like, okay, let's do this, let's fight. And I got knifed. I knew Skyline. So Pat was uh, Pat was ready for the fight, and basically they got into the squabble. Me and Wackers did not get involved in this. We It was a one-on-one -on -one fight, it was fair, and uh, we did not get involved. So basically, Pat got owned because... Uh, Pat, no, not Pat, Pat got, Pat won the fight and uh, Colin got owned. Basically, Pat was the big kid, he was uh, massive, I mean, he was huge. I mean, he was bigger than me and I was in year 8 and he was in year 7. So, Pat owned Colin, I mean, full on beat the crap out of him. And for the next few days, Pat was left alone. Now, the next week, came into, <laughs> we came into school and uh, me and Wakas got invited to the principal's office and we're like, what the hell? And the uh, principal basically said, so what happened with this fight. So we basically wrote a statement down of what happened of our experience of this fight. So <laughs> I can't believe how this, uh, how, what all this led to as well. So we told the truth, we, we wrote whatever was it in the statement, it was a complete truth, we did not lie at all because it was pre pretty serious stuff and if one of us got expelled we would, uh, well not suspended, we would get pretty much owned with cricket bats from our house. So now Pat was uh, called into the principal's office, he gave his side of the story, and the principal didn't know who to believe, and I just know scoped that guy, and he didn't die, what the hell, at that range as well. So Pat got called to the principal's office, gave his side of the story, and uh, everything was uh, resolved, and basically he was left alone for another few days. Now, <laughs> the next few days, me and Wackers were just hanging around near the chimney, and, and Pat was with us, of course, and... Um, Oh yeah, I forgot another key element in this story. Apparently, when we were invited to the principal's office, Pat's, uh, not Pat, Colin's skull was crushed when, during the fight because he got bashed into the brick wall, which was utter bullshit because I was there and that did not happen. And uh, basically, we told him that did not happen and uh, they said Colin was in the hospital on the day we were called to the principal's office, which he was not because we saw him that day. And uh, it, it was just 
stupid and uh, they realized that Colin was lying. His skull was not crushed because if it was crushed, he would be dead at this t moment in time. So, but he did go to hospital to get everything checked and he did not, he only had like a scar that you get from fist fighting and nothing, no, no brick wall was used. So the next day, um, we and Wakas and Pat were just hanging around uh, near the chimney, of course, and out of nowhere, I mean, nowhere, Colin came along with at least 40 of uh, his year 11 buddies. Year 11 would be the highest of the highest in high school at the moment. So they were big kids and they were against freshmen and second year students. So it was me, Pat, and uh, Wakas against 20 or 30, basically half of the year 11s came here and it was a mixture of year 9s, year 10s, it was basically half the school, which was on Colin's side and they were like, alright, why did you guys gang up on him? We were like, what? We did not gang up on him. And we... <laughs> And at this moment in time, Pat's like, okay, you guys, um, I don't know what's going on, so you guys back me up. And me, me and Wackers just walked off for like a few seconds and we're like, we're not getting involved in this. This is getting a bit out of hand. And Pat's like, he's trying to be funny. He's like, where the hell did my bodyguards go? <laughs> this made us laugh. So we came back for him, of course. And this was going to, we, we got cookies thrown at us. We got a bit of fist fighting done. And <laughs> oh my God, one thing led to another. And... But break time ended, and it was the whole school against us. Basically, the whole school against three guys. Now, Pat also asked my cousin for help, which was the pitch in the beginning of the story. So, Pat asked him for help, and he's like, no, I'm not getting involved. No, do one. So, it was basically us three guys against the whole of the school, and I shit you not, guys. We had OE cookies, chocolate chip cookies, and water, and sticky juices thrown at us, which was disgusting let me tell you that guys and we were pissed off me and Wakas were pissed off we were like oh my god what has this led to now um it was getting to the end of the day and we we're like okay just avoid everyone and it'll hopefully blow over <laughs> and i didn't want to get knifed here by the same guy so i was like okay fuck you i'll kill myself and i'll kill you along with me so we both got blown up so back to the story, we're like, Pat, okay, you, you avoid um, everyone at all costs, and we'll avoid everyone at all costs. So it was end of school now. Me and Wakas were walking up. We had, I think we had a wood tech, oh, which would be uh, resistant materials. So we had that, and we were walking out, and uh, we, we were just walking up this little slope, which was at the exit of this entrance because we were walking outside. And out of nowhere, out of nowhere, four year 11s jumped us. Like, literally, they jumped us. And me and Wakas were on the floor, and we got mud all over us because the grass was wet. And we we got totally jumped. They got their water out. They got their water out. And they started uh, having a little bit of a fight with us, and we we tried to fight back. We were totally outnumbered. We got our asses kicked. We got water thrown on us. And Wakas was only pissed off with one thing. He was not pissed off with anything else of this whole story. That only one thing, and that thing was that. When um, we got jumped, I was the first one getting jumped, and instinctively, by accident, I held on Wakas' uh, clothes, so <laughs> I dragged him down with me, basically, and he was pissed off that I did that. Just that one thing, that that's the only thing that pissed him off, and I was like, okay, I can't believe that happened, and uh, basically, we told the principal, and we, we tried to get our side of the story straight. And everything finally blew over. I mean, everything finally blew over. And uh, but we had hurt our reputations. Year eleven officially hated us. So basically, year nine, year ten, year eleven, all hated us. So basically, when year eleven left the school, year tens would hate us, and we had a three-year cycle of pure hatred. And this was all because I respected my Pat's brother's wishes, and I, you know, stuck up for him, and that's all we did. So basically, when we got into year nine, I was like, Pat, you're on your own now. This is the time that you do it on your own. And we're like, we're not going to hang around with you. You have to get your own friends, your own your own buddies, and uh, do it yourself because that's what high school is. you got to do it yourself. And uh, we were trying to be a bit of dicks, but we, we, we took cookies and sticky juices and punches and got jumped on for this kid. And uh, I don't know if he still remembers it, but I remember it like clear as day. Uh, getting to the end of this commentary as well. I really do hope you enjoyed. This is 100% legit story, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out. My name is Vix, and uh, I got knifed 46 times in this video thanks to Skyline. TS Skyline, you are a pure dickhead. Thanks for watching. Peace out.